Hi guys, five things you probably didn't know about thermal fillers. Number one, thermal fillers are made of a derivative of hyaluronic acid. This is naturally occurring in your skin and it gives plumpness. But the good thing about hyaluronic acid is that it attracts up to a thousand times its own weight in fluid or hydration. So when you inject, say, for example, dermal fillers in the lips over the course of one to two weeks, that filler is going to continue to attract fluid. So it's going to plump the area even more and hydrate the area. So it gets even better and better after your injection. Number two. So fillers generally come in a syringe of one mil, which sounds a lot, but actually it is a very small amount and you can fill a teaspoon with five syringes of filler. So bear that in mind um, when you think about how much fill you're going to need. But then having said that, less is always more. Number three, so it can be difficult to know how much dermal filler you're going to need, but if you're using dermal filler for rejuvenating purposes, so for example, um, replacing volume in the cheeks, nasolabial fold marionettes, etc., we can use the number of decades of your age to predict how much volume you will have naturally lost anyway, and that gives us a sort of guide to say how many syringes or milliliters of filler that we can use while still maintaining your natural and original appearance. Number four, so many of you are aware of the importance in product selection, which is a very um, good thing to be careful about, but um, the chances are that if you're going to a reputable provider, then they are probably going to use any of the market leading brands such as Bellaterra by Mertz, Juvederm by um, Allergan or Teoxane, for example. But there is more to product selection than just the brand. And this is where an experience injector comes in handy. So within each brand, there is actually a collection of fillers. And the even more important step is to choose the right thickness for the right area. So within each brand, for example, Bellatero, there is a super soft, soft, medium, hard, product selection and it comes down to your injector to know which of these choices is going to give you the best and most natural result. Number five, so although um, we consider injectables to be relatively safe, there are risks with everything that we do and although you are unlikely to run into a problem with dermal fillers, right about one in a hundred thousand or so, if we're talking a serious complication, it is still possible. It can actually be um, very serious or a medical emergency. And that's why it's super important that you pick a medically qualified practitioner, in my opinion, uh, preferably a doctor, a nurse or a dentist, for example, because they are regulated um, by governing bodies, but also they will be medically trained to deal with a complication if it was to occur. So that's great for your peace of mind, for my peace of mind. So last tip, please be safe and choose your practitioner carefully. So book a free consult on our website and I can tell you more about fillers and how they may benefit you.